clouds and wind, the makings of a typical cool November day. So naturally, SIU students were out in shorts, sandals, and short sleeves? Well, I would say that, you know, the weather we're experiencing is certainly a little bit unusual, but I don't think that there's necessarily any, um, you know, nefarious sort of underlying cause or anything like that. SIU freshman Cody Dees is from the Champaign area, where he says it's about 10 degrees cooler. Dees adds he chose SIU partly because of the warmer temperatures, and even though he wasn't expecting such warm weather this late in the year, he has no complaints. It's pretty nice. It's nice not be able to be cooped up in the library, come outside and enjoy the weather. Now, temperatures in Carbondale were a bit warmer than usual today. According to the National Weather Service, the daily average for November is about 58 degrees, generally making hoodies like this a pretty good idea. However, today's temperatures and attire did not come without a catch. Winds got up to 35 miles per hour, leaving students and teachers alike blown away. I like it. It's really nice. I like the wind and, like, I have flip-flops on, so it's cool. The real concern for the winds here would be for things like um, vehicles that are traveling east to west and you have that strong wind coming out of the south. Um, it can cause car accidents and cause uh, semi-trucks to overturn and those sorts of things. Even with the warm weather and five weeks until winter, Sabrina Miller of the Illinois Department of Public Health says it's important to not let your guard down when preparing for colder weather and storms. Some of us in Illinois are experiencing uh, unseasonably mild weather so far, we know that that could change at any time, and it could certainly change before the, uh, the official onset of winter.